Hi guys, welcome to today's video. In today's video, we will look in the scenario in which the USA invades Mexico, as this was a comment suggestion. So yeah, if you have any suggestions for videos, I will try to do them. As your suggestions are great. Because I've done a lot of videos. And Mexico and the US? I did do this video before, but let's see, is this one better or worse? And yeah, read it at the end. And yeah, Canada is partially in this war. I don't know why. See? Partially in the war. And who doesn't like partially in the war nations? They're at war with one nation, but only partially. That's not even possible. With the big old USA ready for an invasion. But isn't the most effective. They started an invasion into some of the northern areas. Including Baja, California. Which this is a fully successful in Baja, California. Because California just sends a right basically to take it over. Because it's California. And yeah. Their Texan offensive begins as they cross the Rio Grande. And let's set up naval fighting. A lot of naval stuff, I guess, is in California, let's just say. So they send their naval dominance down from California to capture Baja California's coast. And yeah. And then they had their navy set up for this in Florida. Why here? I don't know. They also had a New Orleans set up. And Texas. And why is their navy spreading slowly? And their navy pushes down here. As their navy is headed on two fronts towards Mexico's navy. And yeah. And so on. As stuff breaks out. As conflict breaks out. There's obviously not makes it good. But Mexico is ready to defend every inch of their territory they state. In a letter to the U.S. president. They show how strong they are in that letter. As the U.S. is trying to take Mexico City as fast as they can. But are probably not going to get as fast. But this is mostly due to over a lot of stuff. And then Mexico says, well, yeah. And New Mexico rises up against the U.S. government saying, we want to be a part of Mexico. Yep, that is what they say. This is not the right borders, but oh be it. And the U.S. was shocked at the New Mexican Revolution. Well, they were really shocked. As Mexico has forces now in the New Mexico. And the U.S. was shocked at this with the American people rising up against the U.S. And yeah, so on. They take out half of Arizona somehow. Until U.S. soldiers march back up. But they do do well while they're ahead. And they move into Texas. And up into the U.S. But as forces are arriving to here. The new Mexican revolution is put down. This was a big change in the war with the Texan front almost but crumbling. And the other fronts, but they don't. With New Mexico seeing that this revolution was pointless. As the U.S. marches into the New Mexican revolution. 
many people are surprised at this revolution. With Mexico still holding here. As this rebellion collapses, it becomes Mexico sends in its forces to hold this front. As this area is annexed back into the U.S. of A. And why am I calling it the U.S. of A, you may be wondering? Because I am. That's a good reason. Wouldn't you guys agree? Why do I say because I am and yes a lot in these videos? I don't understand. Maybe it's just a word, a filler word. Who even knows? It's pretty cool, though. As the American Navy is having victory after victory against the Mexican Navy. Mexico did have a few victories, like the revolution and stuff. And the Americans move down the coast. They don't just move down the coast and leave the Mexican army, the Mexican Navy to barrage them. They also kick the Mexican Navy south. And now for the support of Mexico. From nations across the world, including Russia and China. But some nations like a lot of Europe, except Spain. As I said, yeah, Spain is going to support Mexico. And then, yeah, I don't know if this is how it would actually happen. I think New Zealand and Australia would probably help too. Let's add them. I'm saying Peru does because I believe Mexico, like the old Peruvian government that tried to launch a coup, so why would they want to help them? I don't know. But, yeah. And Colombia is debating. And a lot of Central America supports Mexico, with the exception of El Salvador and Belize. But America is now sending weapons into that country. As America's invasion of Mexico has gone awful. It has become a joke, basically. Whether well, it's enemies, it's enemies. Well, they do make a landing. And then, well, their Central American allies join. Including Cuba. Why would Cuba join? Not a smart move. Colombia changes their mind about staying neutral as they enter the war zone. And, well, ever I thought they were going to be neutral, why is Haiti helping? That's, like, no help. But that's besides the point. And, no, I'm not saying that. That's mostly because Haiti doesn't have the best, shall I say, military or economic status. It's hard to fight a war without money. They're probably just entered. Nobody even cares to attack them because they don't think they're capable of fighting. Which they might be. Who knows? Well, maybe, maybe not. You know what I'm trying to say. With a shock being known, the American Navy was present in this country. And Canada's like, U.S., you ready for help? The U.S. says, your military's slacking. What? Well, that is kind of true, but yeah. America never slacks. America's strongest military. How will they always be? Probably not, but could they always? Yes, but would they? No. With their Central American allies, the U.S. doesn't think they're strong, but they do help push the U.S. back a bit towards the coast. And then Mexico makes its offensive into Texas bigger. As New Mexico wants to still join it, so they're moving up here with some rebel support, but yeah. But unfortunately, their navies aren't enough, and they didn't realize American vessels were here. That's a big oof up. Because the Americans didn't trust them. And yeah, as you can see, this naval fighting, it looks like this war is soon going to be over. Personally, it does. With American weapons going right down the Mexican coast. Fine, all the red team coast is now falling, with Cuba being one of the last to lose their coast, shockingly. With there being no risk of a Cuban missile crisis now. As naval dominance is fully in American control. If they're, with Americans move having forces down there. Yep, they move down here to get more forces in. As the U.S. people are a bit wondering. 
As Canada has entered the war a while ago, but I forgot to color them in. But really, I don't care if, say, Europe has joined because, well, I don't want to be going all over the world because in World War III, that'd just be fun. Remember the Korean War that turned into World War III? Yep, that was a two-part episode. I really liked it, though. Got hundreds of views on that. In the Mexico and the U.S. going to war, it happened in 1812 and America took a big chunk of the land. So technically, Mexico could have been much bigger. As the capital of Venezuela falls with the American and Colombian support, I actually buy hot sauce. Yep. And can you guess what the hot sauce I like is from there? Ooh, cool. Yep. Definitely. Definitely cool. I don't even know what's cool anymore. But that's besides the point. If you like maps, well, yeah. Thanks for watching this. I always like maps. As the Americans land in Nicaragua and the tangent is over. What is the best game? Obviously Risk for board games. Although if Ray tells me it's not good because it's too long. But I don't agree. And the Yuktan Peninsula Falls. As New Mexico is punished severely after this. With a lot of people losing properties and stuff. Because they supported the Mexican government. Which is shocking. But that's war for you. Mexico has a very odd, tough geography. As you can easily get in America. As they move towards Mexico City, they encircle the city and take it. They take the government and the government's never seen again with the rest collapsing. Venezuela, part of Nicaragua and Honduras, part of Cuba. Well, that's all of Cuba. A big chunk of northern Mexico. Colombia annexes about half, a third of Venezuela. Well, Brazil took a third. They didn't even fight, but they got land. Kind of like Denmark did at the end of World War II. The Yucatan went, Yucatan Peninsula, Yucatan, 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 whatever it's called. Yucatan, is it? Yucatan, whatever it is, joins. And El Salvador and Belize gain land. And Mexico is really a puppet state of the U.S. So is that Central American state. They're both puppets of the U.S. now. And now for the closing part. Yep, you heard that right. It's a closing part. And thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Now, please subscribe. We're trying to get the 600 subscribers. We're at 442 subscribers. 442 subscribers. 442 subscribers. So please subscribe as our goal is in a month to be at 600 subscribers. So if you could, please like and subscribe. That'd be great. That's all for today's video, pretty much. Please like, subscribe, comment, and whatever else you want to do to this video. And thank you for viewing it. Thank you for subscribing. That's all for today's video. Wild Mapper out.